This right here is my number one fragrance from this company. But recently I got two blind buys. And the real question is, will these two beat out number one? Let's find out. Hey, what's going on, people? I'm Jay Cruz, and welcome to the YouTube channel. If you are into self-care, taking care of yourself through beard care, hair care, fragrances, any of those things, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I'm on a weight loss journey, and those things help me out. So I try to share what I learn, what I know with the people. But today's video is going to be so fun. I love doing these unboxings first impressions when it comes to fragrances. The company that I'm talking about today is Aromas de Zalazar. So the way I found out about this company was actually through a good friend of mine named Barbara Joe. He told me about the owner, told me, cause he knew I was getting into fragrances. So he told me, I went to the interview, I went to go see what the company was about and I went ahead and got a sample pack. And out of all these fragrances right here, the one that stuck out the most was this one right here, Blueberry Morning. Hold on, let me let you just see that. Look, at that is the bottle. This is a 10 ml. They sell 10 mls and 50 ml, but this is Blueberry Morning. Now, what I'm going to do is on the screen right now, you're going to see the full description of this scent profile, like what are the uh, notes that you see in this fragrance, but I have my notes and I want to share with you what I get and why this is my number one from this company. Blueberry morning, you see it has blueberries in there. There's some oud in here as well, but what do I get now on paper, right? And on skin is a little bit different for me in the beginning. What I will say about this, the the what I'm able to interpret through my nose, and I'm not no expert by any means, I'm just having fun. I get tart, fresh blueberries up front. And I want you to think of, think of like a bowl of fresh blueberries in water. And then when you bite into it, it's not sweet right away, but there's a little bit of that tartness vibe in there. And again, this is on skin for me up front. But then what I love about Blueberry Morning is that as the time goes by, it starts to develop into a sweet aroma of blueberries, but it doesn't stop there. I also am able to pick up, and maybe this is what the oud represents, but for me, in my mind, the Blueberry Morning fragrance is a sweet blueberry afterwards, but it's almost like, I want you to think of like tree bark. So it's almost like if someone grabbed a tree, uh, the bark and cut it up into different chips, that aroma, like if I have the aroma, the, the, the bark chips right here, that with some sweet blueberries, that's what I kind of get. And the reason I love this is because although the blueberries do eventually become sweet and fruity, there's that component of it that's a little bit woodsy. Now, nine out of the 10 times, this is my morning fragrance of choice. This is what I will smell like in the morning, after I work out, after I take a shower, I just love this aroma, blueberry morning. So far, my number one. Now here's where it gets interesting. While that still is my number one scent, one thing that's a theme within this company to me is oud scents and coffee scents. I believe the owner, Michael, is a big coffee enthusiast lover as well. But these two right here are blind buys. All I was able to see was the description and the title. So I don't really know what they smell like. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the one that I have the most hope for, for last, okay? But this right here is called Choco Oud. I'm gonna read some of the things that um, that are on the website as far as what it smells like. Um, honey, uh, I'm not a big fan of coconut. Uh, rose, chocolate cake accord. Chocolate cake. <laughs> Butter, oud, cashmere, patchouli. And I wanna see what this smells like. How good is it? This is a 10 ml bottle. Just look at that color as well. Uh, for this particular fragrance, very beautiful 10 ml Chaco Oud. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got high hopes for this one, all right? And I got to keep it a buck. So I'm going to give you first impressions. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay, I get right up front. Oh, I get honey and chocolate. That's what I get right up front. Okay. Yes, okay, it becomes a little floral now, little floral. So right up front, mostly chocolate and 
and honey. But now it's starting to pick up the floral vibes. I can't, no coconut. Okay, so what I mostly get from this is honey and chocolate, but the honey is not overly sweet. So I think it's a good combination of chocolate with some sweetness to it. Uh, I don't like overly sugary type aromas that like are too sweet. Like vanilla, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but if it's done right, it's done right. But this is nice. Yo, I'm gonna tell you fellas right off the bat, I think this would be more for uh, for the ladies to appreciate on your skin. That's all I'm saying, because this is uh, very delightful. I almost get a little bit of powdery vibes now that it's starting to like dry down a little bit. Yeah, it totally changed now because originally up front, honey, chocolate. Then I got a whiff of floral notes. Oh, I like this. This is unique. It's not a bad buy. As a blind buy, I didn't go wrong. I hardly smell any more like honey anymore. As a matter of fact, now it's like chocolate and powdery and I like this. So this is Choco Oud, okay? This is Choco Oud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now we're gonna go to the one that I have the most hope. I hope it lives up to my expectations. And what really sucks about this is that it's not available anymore. I mean, at least when I went to the website, I don't see it there. But ladies and gentlemen, this is called Café Puro, which in Spanish, the translation in English is called Pure Coffee, okay? I have very high expectations for this. I don't know why it came off the website. Maybe if the owner watches the video, he'll let us know in the comments. But Café Puro was something that I had to get. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, bet, 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 bet. All right. All right. Yo, I'm mad nervous because I hope this is good, bro. And I can't even tell you exactly what it smells like anymore as far as like the description because it's... Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. This is why I love fragrances, bro, because they really do bring you to a place. I'm going to tell you initially what I smell up front. I want you to think of the picture that came right to mind was this fresh coffee beans. But I want you to think of, have you ever seen them in the machine when like when kind of like when they're roasting them? I want you to think of that aroma, but almost like a mist kind of hitting coffee beans, bro. And I don't know if that's nutmeg or vanilla or something in here, but it is very balanced. I didn't, I was a little concerned at one point too, because puro coffee, I'm thinking it's gonna smell straight up just like coffee beans, but there's a little bit of sweetness and this is nice. There is a little bit of like sweetness, coffee beans for sure, a lot of coffee involved, but also feel like nutmeg. I don't know why that's what I'm mostly picking up nutmeg maybe it's vanilla in there but again mostly what i get fresh coffee beans not grounded right because also i don't want you guys to think it's like robust like a like a dark roast hitting you in your face no it's more of anything like a nice beautiful medium roast and just sprayed with some nice water on top giving you that mist roasted well some coffee beans with a little bit of that sweetness to it nah bro this is a banger now Here's the thing. So the real question is, did Café Puro, did Chaco Oud beat out Blue Morning? I'm going to say these two are good fragrances. I really like more Café Puro than Chaco Oud, even though Chaco Oud is a good fragrance. But Morning, uh, Blueberry Morning is still number one. And the reason for that is because I just love how it smells in the morning, bro. This aroma, fantastic. Chaco Oud is very nice as well. Definitely more, I think, for those occasions as well. And if you're a bachelor or you got that special lady, you're married, this and that, I think she will enjoy this. Uh, just saying. But either way, guys, I will link the website down below to this company. I'm not affiliated in any way. I just enjoy fragrances. I really do believe that they complement occasions, enhance experiences. So if you have any recommendations on coffee, uh, fragrances out there, or anything regarding like blueberry, uh, amber, anything like that, maybe a little bit of tobacco, put it down below so I can go and check those websites out. Big shout out to Michael. If you ever watch this with video, man, uh, wishing you guys the best on your side. Legit, the dude is an artist. That's what I like as a content creator. I love when people are invested in their craft and learning to become better and better. So go check out the company. Uh, they have 10 ml, 
10 ml and 50 ml and i actually got these when they were on sale but nevertheless thank you for watching i know it was a little bit of a longer one but i really did have a lot of fun with these type of videos unboxings and giving reactions appreciate you guys and on to the next one peace